Hey, Crafty Besties. It's your Crafty Bestie, Tubby. It's time for our weekly craft time together. I know you got a bonus video this week, but that's always a good thing. So, today's prompt in Junk Journal January, which this Junk Journal January is sponsored by Meg's Journals and Get Messy Art Journals. Um, so, I thought today that we would use the idea of a pattern. And this pattern has these little rosette bows on it. And here's the pattern for that. And so, I'm going to gently tear what is needed off the pattern. This is from, I don't know, I think it's a book I got. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it's from a book I got. And it had all different kinds of patterns in it. And I thought we would give it a little background with some of this colored chalk. Because, why not? <laughs> and this chalk piece is broken. So we're just going to rub some interest on with a piece of chalk. I haven't used chalk in a journal yet, so this will be new and different for me. Maybe not for you. Maybe you always use chalk. But I thought I'd try it out. And because we know that chalk rubs, I won't get offended at it if it rubs off on the other page because that's okay because I'm going to cover most of it with glue. So, there it is. So we're going to glue this down. And then like with my stitched piece, you know how grandmother said that you have to have your, um, let's see what I put, that my mom said. Because she did. She said, get your thread and materials together with swatches and cut out the pattern. So, I've got some lace that we're going to use as the fabric for that. And... I think I'm going to tear a little bit more off this way so it'll fit on the page better. Yeah, it's still sticking out a little, but that'll be okay. Um, I hope you all had a good week. This week in customer service, people seemed like they were on the edge. Like, they were just so angry. And... I did everything I knew how to do to make some people happy. And some people you just can't make happy, no matter what you do. But this was like... Somebody actually expected me to send something to them overnight, and we don't do that. And we haven't done that since pre-pandemic, really. And, um... See, I got nice chalky residue on this. Um... It's just bizarre, the things that people are asking for us to do and then get mad when we can't do it and it's beyond what we could do. And I'm just going to ask everybody a favor. When you call somewhere, let's have a sip of coffee on this note because I'm going to spill the tea. When you call somewhere to have something serviced and somebody asks you for your model and cereal, don't ask them why they have to have it. I'm going to explain it to you right now so you'll know. They have to have it so they can find your specific item so that they can help you in the best possible way. Because believe it or not, there are some differences even if something is the same model. So I just want you to know that up front. Um... So we're going to put the thing here, but we're also going to put a little gold on the yarn. Ah! And on my hand and on the iconic, ionic, no, oh, the tonic studio. I <laughs> see, I can't even talk today. It's been that kind of week. The tonic studios. We're going to put some of this gold leaf on there. It's normally for goodness it's very runny 
I've only had it for a minute, too. It's not like I've had it a long time. We're just going to put some all over it. Because we want that to shimmer up the rosettes on the dress. And now we got shimmer on the on my hands. This is why some crafters that you'll see, they always wear gloves. And I probably should because I am a messy crafter. <laughs> but we're going to glue this down. And yes, this is art glitter glue. And I didn't understand it until I started using it. And I was like, what's the big deal? It costs too much. And then, then I started using it. I'm like, oh, now I get it. So here's going to be our little sample piece for our rosette. Sorry, I dropped a pen off my table. If you don't put your pen back in your glue, this nozzle will become so clogged that you will not be able to do anything with it. So it's very painful when you can't use your glue and you have to soak it. Now I have nice shiny things on my on my glass mat. This is why also I love using a glass mat because you can clean it up and I mean even with a tissue. Look. Boom, boom. And what's not coming up with a tissue is glue. And that takes a little more scrubbing. I guess I'm going to sparkle today. I sparkle every day. Who am I kidding? So, this is our pattern. This is what you do with the fabric. And you roll it up and you cinch it together. And then you stitch it to the different places. Now that I've gotten all the... Well... Shoot. I was going to see if I could just dot it on the places that I wanted it. But that made more of a mess. <laughs> well, sometimes things do not work out the way you want them to or the way you thought they would. That's the best part of doing junk journals and art journals. And journals where you just generally typically make a mess because even if it doesn't work out the way you want it to it works out some kind of way <laughs> and the person who was sewing this pattern thought it was impossible but this is Spanish and it says nada es, nada es impos imposible nada es imposible so nothing is impossible so, even though the girl thought she couldn't, and she made a mess of the pattern and the fabric and the, all the goofiness that I have done today, nothing is impossible. Nada es impossible. So, just remember, nothing is impossible, my Spanish friends who are out there. Nods to you for speaking Spanish and English. And helping teach me Spanish. Because without you all. I would not be able to say any Spanish words. And I wouldn't have known what that meant. So I am going to put metallic gold here. Because this is supposed to be metallic. And it's not even. It's a rub and buff medium it says. It's supposed to be gilding wax. But it's more like wet runny goo. Here's this metallic gold because that's what we want it to be. But nothing's impossible. And that is day 14 for me for Junk Journal January. But I also thought I would show you something else that I made this week that I'm still I'm going to make a couple more tags for. These are like my little mini books. And this one says note to self. I stamp that on there. And you flip it and it's got a place for tags on top. And here's a tag that you could write on. And there's another place right here that I'm going to put something pretty. Maybe we can make that together. Do you want to? 
You do? Okay, well, we will. And then I'm going to make a tag for here because it's a side tuck. And I think that these are really fun. These are for sale. If you contact me on Facebook, these are $5. Um, and that includes shipping in the continental United States. And, um, but if you're outside the continental United States, it would be $4 plus whatever regular shipping is to your country or to Hawaii or Alaska. So, let's make something pretty to go here. So, over here in my big cart of things, I have packaging material. And patch packaging is phenomenal for making tags with. And I have a couple of little scrappy scrappy bins that I have various scraps in. I'm going to make a pretty tag that's going to fit in here, but we want to make it about the same height as this tag that I made yesterday. And I'll do the... Oh, look, this could be a really cute pocket. It's already notched and everything. That's going to happen. So, let's get the punch. We're going to use this KW Trio three-way corner punch. To make the corners of the tag that needs to go in that pocket. Is that what I used? Or could I use this one? Maybe I used this one. Yeah, I used this one. Okay. So I'm going to get this little bits of things that don't belong and remove them from this. And I think we can cover this with, I mean, this is kind of peachy and, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I love this. This was sent to me by my crafty bestie, Rory, and she's so sweet. If you all don't watch Coffee and Crafting with Rory, you're missing out on some really good stuff. So, we're going to put the glue here, and I'm going to use the art glitter glue. And yes, I know this, this poor glue bottle looks pathetic, but art glitter glue, yeah, I like it a lot. Because it dries clear, it dries quick, it, it's good and strong. So, we're going to put this right down on this paper. I don't know where she got it. But it is beautiful. So I love it. Thank you, thank you, Rory. So we're going to cut it out. And this is the way to make sure that you cut it out exactly to fit, is cutting it out from the back side. I used to try to cut things the front way, but that does not work well for me. And now we have this, and this is really pretty. But I think I want to put a little grommet in it and use my crocodile to put the eyelid in it, not grommet, sorry. I'm going to get out my crop dial. Oh, let's see. I used um, a silvery looking brad, uh, pilot. And yes, if I would have organized those, I wouldn't have to search for the colors. So, if you've not bought a crop dial, I highly recommend it because they are phenomenal and they make life a lot easier. It was one of the things that I saw highly recommended 
and was one of my first what I think is expensive purchases for art for junk journal art I can't ever remember nope put it this way and squeeze it and look now I have my off center eyelet <laughs> just like me a little off center okay and then I did also get the carrying case because it's totally worth it and that keeps it safe and away from other craziness and so you know we're doing note to self so I like this picture of this lady and it's a sticker so we're gonna put that right there and what would the lady have the lady if it's me or my crafty bestie Rory we would have a cup of coffee as well put that here like the way that looks under that. I'll just trim off these butterflies, but I'm not going to throw them away. I like that. I like that. And then she would probably, just because it's pretty, have, some, have a butterfly around her head somewhere. And I think this goes nicely here. So I think we'll do that. I make this beautiful tag to go in this little note to self. And have you all ever noticed how these like washi colored stickers are really hard to peel and it may have nothing to do with the fact that I am covered in gilding wax hmm. I might glue it down if I can't get it to peel uh, this one did it too this is the sticky part and that's the sticker Ugh. That is very annoying, y'all. So we're going to glue it down. And this glue will dry clear and it'll dry quickly. I got some of these from Timu. So I'm just saying. Oh, now I have to put everything the other way. No, no, that's not going to be. Mm -mm. Where's my. Yeah. Nope. We're not going to glue it on that side. We will glue it on this side. So if you buy stickers from Timu, be careful. Because this one totally had the sticky on the wrong side. But we do know how to glue things down, don't we, ladies? That's what we do. We adapt. We just have learned how to adapt. Yeah, that's really frustrating when you buy a sticker and you want it to stick down. So the people are sticking to the wrong side. Maybe that's why they were cheap would have been good if it had come with a disclaimer but whatever I'm gonna stick that down too the washi butterfly I love the washi butterflies and then I don't know I feel like it needs some lace at the bottom or something hmm no. Ooh, yeah. 
Let's do this washi tape. If we can get this washi tape to pull up. I don't know where the washi came from. And I know I'm not the only person that has trouble finding the end of their washi tape. Or which way it's going. I know I'm not. We're going to put that washi tape. And that'll make me feel better about the tag. I'm just gonna roll that over. We're gonna just outline the sides. the washi up to the little cut and then we're going to do it just on one side and do it on this side over here and there is our beautiful tag to go in our window pocket that I created from envelopes Oops. Now we have that pocket, that tag, and then I will surprise the person with the whatever tag is going to go in this side pocket here, in the side tuck, maybe, or should we just go ahead and do it? Let's do it. Let's just do it. And this one will cover with some braille paper. This is a master board I created one day. I was bored and was gluing paper to packaging. So we can do a tag. Make it that long. See, master boards are fun. I sometimes make master boards in between when I'm on hard calls. Sometimes those, car those calls and customer service get really difficult and it makes life a little rough and so if I can keep my hands busy it helps me to do better this is me matching up the tag corner what you like me now? Yeah. And I'm going to put some braille paper on it. Not the whole sheet. I'm very tactile, y'all, and I love the way that stuff feels. So we're gonna make a little collage with this. Just some neutral papers and the peachy peachies. This way. So let's lay it out and see what we get. Another peachy peachy from the other one. We're not going to use 
no stickers for that. <gasps> I know what we can use. Peachy chewing. This is this was a chewing tobacco in the 1940s. Cause I looked it up because I wanted to know what it was all about. But yes. I'm gonna go with that. I like that. And then let's see. Need something here. Oh, what about those butterflies that I cut and didn't use in the other thing? They went right on the floor. And I'm just going to put the butterflies down here. Let's see if we can peel this up. Just to get the little tiny butterflies. And then, you know what? I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I'm just going to glue it. I hate fighting stickers. Just put it right there. Yeah. And then we got we have a bucket of sentiments over here. And phrases. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hopeful. You might be hopeful that you're going to finish on time. Um, I don't want the purple and the blue. Or limited edition. I like limited edition. Well, that actually looks pretty good right there. Yes. So that's what's going to be there. I also sometimes cut phrases out of book pages. So, so when you cut phrases out of book pages, you can use them as sentiments as well. And this is a little takeout container from the Chinese restaurant. So you don't have to have fancy storage. Everything doesn't have to be fancy storage. Put this on my the braille. Okay, so this is a limited edition. <laughs> and we're going to glue the back. Because I learned this from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. If you glue it top down, you can keep your collage pretty much the same way you wanted it when you put it together. It doesn't move as much when you do that. Let's stick that down. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to put an eyelet in this one too. I'm just trying to be cohesive in the journal or the little, the little book. I call them little books. And this besties is how I get all messy. Let's find another one. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna open up the crocodile. And if you've made it this far in the video, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Because I don't know why you haven't if you haven't. And we're going to squeeze it and call it done. So we're going to put this one in the side pocket. Because there's always something. And we're going to put this one back in the front pocket where it was. Because there's always something more that you want to write or say or do. So this, as I said, is um, 
five dollars that includes shipping in the continental United States um, and four dollars plus actual shipping if you live Hawaii Alaska or anywhere else in the world but oh this is kind of a little place for you to keep and take notes note to self five dollars Hit me up on Facebook at Tabitha Brannon, and I will, um, I'd love to send this to you. Um, I also want you to remember that you matter, you are loved, and you are enough. I love you big bunches. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video.